Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to install TWRP or Team One Recovery Project as a recovery onto your Android smartphone. Now, the main method I'll be showing you is on Samsung devices because simply most devices are Samsung and they're the easiest to use. I'll also show you how to use other on other ones, but the main one I'll be going into further detail on is with Samsung. Now, now <clears throat> basically. What TWRP is, is on every phone you have, um, well first you'd go to this link first, but on every phone you have a recovery system or an install system for ROMs and everything, but it's really pretty bad. And sometimes you won't really even have that. So TWRP is the best method on how to get that to use. And so what you want to do is find the latest release. Of course maybe when you're watching this it'll be different. And click, and I'll take you to the devices page, which is then, which is then here, okay. And you have an absolute, you have tons and tons of devices to choose from. You can search yours up, or just simply, there are ridiculous amounts. So, I'm going to show you HTC One X and Samsung Galaxy S3, just because they're. Th S3, um, because I have an S3 to show you, and one X just because it's different, and I'll show you why I'm not actually showing you it. <coughs> okay, so here, on all the ones, there's a root method where you have to download the TWRP manager, and then you can install it, the TWRP, from there. Tap on install to select device, and then tap on install recovery. file download and be installed automatically okay and here then it shows you download the latest TWRP image file boot it install and select the image and browse the image that you selected download and select it choose to recovery and swipe to flash this is what and this was on, on about your phone already has a recovery option to do all of this but it's just very bad so I'll, at the end of the video I'll be showing you TWRP and what makes it better so Samsung need Odin, and this is a download page for Odin, you just get Odin 3.1, 3.09, it really doesn't matter, just get the latest one, you might as well. And this Odin should work for every single Samsung device, which is why it's so good. But of course, for example, um, you want to be, just say, you just the Essex has just come out, they might not have made one for that yet, so be careful that it should be. I don't see why it shouldn't work, but they might not. Have, they might have made one yet. Okay, and again, Odin requirements is you need to have your latest Samsung USB drivers. And you need to have yeah, again a USB cable, of course. ADB and fast boot tools for your device. Not necessarily, but basically, once you run Odin and you try installing it, your phone should automatically try installing uh, things like this okay you can use Odin I think to flash for example like this stock and stock Samsung realm but it's just easy if you don't and AC, okay, ACC 1X is the reason why it's different is because you have the same TW, TWRP install which is why I'm not doing it because you can just use this method to do the exact same or there's a fast boot install method which doesn't require root but it is very, it's hard to do, you need to use the command prompt, it's not too hard, but yeah, you just follow this, and it's, it's actually quite, it's quite simple, but you know, you might as well just use this, if you're unsure about using the command prompt. And so you want to download them from the primary links, or, or the app manager, once, so you download them, and once you've done that, and downloaded Odin, then you're pretty much set to go. And what you need to do, is just say open Odin. Odin. I've got 3.07, so you know, it should work fine. Then, what it's going to say is added. My phone's already connected, so it will say added, and here it'll come up with this thing. And you want auto reboot and F reset time selected, and that's the only ones you want. Now, 
what you want to do is once you've downloaded your file, which I have, I've already done this, so I'm just going to be showing you what you would do. Is you get the where is it? oh no, what you would do is you get the if I can find it, I've already downloaded this. Yeah, here, twrp file, and what you would do is you would simply PDA, click on PDA, and you just click on this and open. And there. Now, when you start, I'm not going to. But when you start, you know, then you it will be quite. It should be quite quick, and you'll flash the actual recovery if I want to it. Okay. And simply, it will then reboot and reload and do everything that you'd expect it to do. And this is on the same with every single um, device. It, it will Odin doing this, but with TWRP, it would then go through a process of trying to load it up. And okay, okay, we'll go to the phone now. Hey guys, and we're with the device now, and this is my basically my Samsung Galaxy S3. And just see it works. Everything's fine. Yes, it's just running Silent Mod Mod um, Unofficial 12. And so I'm okay, and everything's fine. And oh yeah, also remember to do USB debugging on the computer. It's very simple, just in settings, you can do USB debugging if it doesn't seem to work. You have to have that enabled if it can't connect. If you're just wondering. Now what you're gonna want to do is just shut it down. Just hold down the power button. And power off. Now, once it's fully shut down, because you install the TWRP manager, you're going to want to just hold down power button, down, on a power button, up, and home button. Power button, up, and home button. And you just let go when you see this logo. And I'll take you straight into recovery. And this is what it looks like. And this is the reason why, if you've seen recoveries before, and this is why it's so much better, just simply because you got an install button, you got a wipe to wipe your um, Davic cache and data, uh, backup, restore, mount, settings, advance, and reboot. And two great things about this is that when you wipe it, for example, is if you wipe your data, it says you wipe your data, you think, oh no, I've lost all my data, and you haven't. All that's happened is that you have deleted your kind of, you kept all your app data, you've kept all your download data, all that, but you've just deleted the apps, downloaded apps from your device, and some setting changes. That's all that's deleted, so that if you were to then restart, once you fact reset, all that you notice is that you just have to go through, through the um, startup process again, and setup process, and that's it. Now, it is a bit slower, but if you really want to wipe it, that's the way to go. And then the other thing is that on TWRP Manager, it's only reboot, and you do reboot system. If the type of ROM you have, okay, like Signature Mod or some ROMs, you, know, you will come with the ability to root from inside, or you don't have to root it using a computer, which is actually really useful, it won't say anything. But if it doesn't have this feature, then you'll notice it says, would you like to install um, the SU, Super SU, which is just a root thing, and you can, and you can root your phone without even having to go onto the computer, which is really useful. Of course you have to get the thing wrong first, but using Team Win Recovery Project, you can just root it without having to really use the computer, and it works just like any other root, which is really good. Okay, and that's simply it, and so you say I want to system and it automatically does it, but it gives you a message saying whether you'd want to or not. And then simply your phone reboots as it normally does, depending on whatever thing you got. I, I've got silent mode and what, uh, unofficial. But yeah, and that's how you install the recovery project. And this is used to flash ROMs, 
or to up just update things. Just generally, it's really useful to have on your phone, especially if you do plan on flashing ROMs. It just makes things life so much easier. And with the backup feature, you can simply backup all your data. If with mine, you can it automatically comes selected with a few things selected. But if you were to select everything, it should back up all of your data 100% so that you can just restore from that backup. Um, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please like, subscribe, share with your friends, or click the subscribe button on the screen there. Thank you very much and goodbye.